students today we are determining the ferrous content in the given sample board by titrimetric analysis using potassium dichromate as a standard solution and potassium ferricyanate as an external indicator now let's start the experimental part this is potassium dichromate solution it is a known solution standard solution and sample solution is mohr salt solution this is an iron ore in which we have to determine the ferrous content and we use potassium ferricyanide as an external indicator firstly we take out 10 ml mohr salt solution transfer 10 ml mohr salt solution into the conical flask now this is external indicator so we use this indicator on the white tile so we put some drops of this indicator on white tile in this experiment we add directly 1 ml potassium dichromate solution into the conical flask and shake well and take one drop of this solution and put it on the indicator drops a greenish blue color will be appear it is due to the formation of ferrous ferricyanide because of the presence of ferrous ions now wash this glass bowl with a distilled water and wipe it well and then again titrate this solution with one ml and again take one drop of this solution and check it for the titric indicator drop again blue color appears it means ferrous signs are present into the solution now wash it well and check for another one ml So repeat the procedure until a drop of this solution does not turn the drop of indicator color. Still, ferrous ions are present, so blue color is appear appear. you can see now blue color does not appear it means all the ferrous ions are converted into ferric ions this is the end point but in this reading it means in first reading we cannot determine the exact end point it is only idea of end point in second reading we will get exact end point because in second reading we uh, use we put directly Four ml solution, potassium dichromate. Because we know up to the four ml, there will be no reading. Reading should be between four to five ml. So we have to check between four to five ml. So in second reading, we directly put four ml solution from the unit and check for four point one ml, four point two, four point three, four point four, four point five, four point six, 
and 5. So their reading will be in between them. By doing this procedure, you will get exact end point. Thank you. Let's understand the chemistry behind this experiment. In this experiment, we use Mohor salt. Mohor salt is an iron ore. Its chemical name is ferrous ammonium sulfate. It is FeSO4 and is four go twice SO4 dot 6 strong. Ores are those minerals from which metal can be extracted profitably or easily. We have to determine ferrous content in this Mohor salt by using potassium dichromate solution as standard solution and potassium ferricyanide as an external indicator. Potassium dichromate is an oxidizing agent so when we add potassium dichromate into Mohor salt solution in the presence of acidic medium it oxidizes ferrous ions into ferric ions. And when we check a drop of this solution, which contains ferrous ion, treated on indicator drop, ferrous ferricyanide is formed, which is dark blue in color. So a blue color appears when all the ferrous ions are converted into ferric ion by potassium dichromate, then a drop of indicator react with ferric ion and form ferric ferricyanide which is light brownish yellow in color. This is the end point. This is observation table. By this table we will get volume of titrant that is potassium dichromate used for the complete oxidation of ferrous ion into ferric ions. And then we put the value of potassium dichromate solution, volume of V2 into the normality equation and we will get normality of unknown sample solution that is normal salt solution. By getting the normality, we will get the strength of given solution by using the formula normality into equivalent weight of ferrous ion. And finally, we will get the ferrous content in a supplied sample ore that is mohor salt in gram per liter.